I want each of us to think about our lives. How has Jesus uniquely prepared your life in the situation that you live in to carry this good news about Jesus into your sphere of influence? How has he called you? He's wired you differently than any other person to be a person who brings good news to the people around you. Now, in Paul's day, those people were called priests. They're called priests, and Paul's going to get into the fact that he's actually been made a priest. He's been made a person that's going to carry the good news into his world. In the Old Testament, there were priests. Uh, One of the classic examples is Moses. So Moses is a person who goes up on the mountain, and the people are down, and they build a golden calf. And then what happens when he comes back down the mountain? They're all worshiping the calf, and God is about to wipe out the people— And yet Moses stands as a priest in between God and the people. He talks to God, and he actually changes God's mind about the people. That's what a priest is. So there's priests like that. There's the high priest that was in Israel that was like that. It's an intermediary. It's a person who talks to God on behalf of the people and a person who talks to the people on behalf of God. But then there's a whole class of priests that we see in the Old Testament as well. But then there was a third set of priests as well. And this one is the one that we oftentimes forget about. I want to read from Exodus chapter 19. It says, You, speaking to the whole nation, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. And, and then, in case you think it goes away, no, it's still there in the New Testament. Here's, this is from 1 Peter chapter 2. He says, You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. And so there was a high priest, and there was a kingdom of priests. But here's the crazy thing. Israel was supposed to be a nation of priests. They were supposed to go out into the world, and wherever they went, if people were asking the question, what is God like? All they had to do was look at the people of Israel. And and Paul makes a connection, and Peter makes a connection in the New Testament. You know who that is now? It's you. It's you. It's the church that that is actually a kingdom of priests. You You are what people are going to see when they wonder, what is Jesus like? 